Once more, we are venturing further up the fretboard. So uh, this gets a little bit easier in some ways. It's a little bit trickier in others. Uh, easier in the fact if you're good at barring across strings, it's, it's a lot more of a streamlined sort of shape because we only use like one finger. Then we're going to just use the other, uh, the third and the fourth finger just to move the uh, sequence higher up on the E string. So again, the only note changing will be on the high E string. Basically moving from the D to the E, F to G to A, and then back down. So let's start with bar one, as I like to say, it's always a good place to start. Right, so uh, bar the finger, first finger, index finger, whatever you want to call it, at the 10th fret from the E to the G string. And if you strum it down gently, it should sound like this. This in itself is a really nice shape. Same string picking sequence as we've been using for the most part. Now what you want to do is put your third finger at fret 12 on the high E string. Keeping the first finger pressed over the G and the B string. Moving then into bar 2, we want the fourth finger at fret 13 on the high E string. Then we want to move that up to the 15th fret. So let's listen to bars one and two. The next part is pretty tough, I'm going to admit it. It's a really wild stretch. But um, having said that, we are further up the fretboard, so it's not as painful as it actually looks. Uh, just make sure that the thumb's not positioned up and over, like I said before. That really makes things difficult with stretching, so you want your thumb behind the fretboard, somewhere around the bottom area, but not too far down. Just roughly in about the middle there, from what I can see of my own. That'll give you the leverage that you need. So the uh, fourth finger is positioned at fret 17 on the high E string. So it should sound like this. If you strum it, really nice sound. And ow, <laughs> let's take that back. So let's put that to the 15th fret. Moving into the fourth bar, we want our third finger at fret 12. And what a relief it is, we take that off. Ah, that feels better. And pick through from the low E to the A to the D, then to the G string. B string and E string gently. That sounds really nice. So essentially the same picking pattern as what we ended on with the previous two examples, I think. That wraps things up for example five. Just a note on stretching. Um, you should never feel sharp pains while stretching. That's not a good thing. It's uh, generally just more of a stretch. So, you know, you get that feeling when you stretch your legs or shoulder blades or whatever, if you've ever done some stretching. It should feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it should never be painful. So if it's painful, you need to stop. Okay, so we're going to be Moving on to example six, that's the last example in this feature. So I'll see you there and have some fun.